Hello friends, I'm Sheila Chinchilla. Today I'm going to talk with you about Canda's Food Guide. Have you heard of Canda's Food Guide before? It can help you choose foods to make your body feel good, grow strong, and have lots of energy to play, move, and learn all day. To help us understand how food works, let's imagine our body as a school bus. If the bus driver doesn't put the right fuel in the school bus, it won't be able to drive around all day and bring kids to school. If he gives the school bus the right fuel, it'll have all the energy it needs to drive around all day. Healthy food is like our right fuel. Oh, here comes the school bus. And here are the kids. Come with us to learn more about Canda's Food Guide. Did you know Canda's Food Guide recommends different kinds of healthy foods every day to make sure your body gets everything it needs to feel good and be healthy. Canda's Food Guide has three food groups. The foods are grouped together on a healthy plate based on what they give our body. The food groups are not all the same size on the plate, but they are all important for health. Eat plenty of vegetables and fruit, protein foods, and whole grain foods. We could call these foods everyday foods because we want to have them every day. Even if you are not eating on a plate, you can still have the three food groups in your meal. <laughs> Gee, the chinchilla doesn't eat off a plate. I eat from a bowl, and I make sure to have plenty of vegetables and fruit, whole grain foods, and protein foods. See? Half of my bowl is filled with vegetables and fruit. If you bring a lunchbox to school, check to see if you have plenty of vegetables and fruit, whole grain foods, and protein foods, like me. Does everyone have their healthy plate activity sheet? Good, you'll need it in a little bit. But first, let me tell you about the biggest part of the healthy plate. The biggest part of the plate is the vegetables and fruit group. Who here loves vegetables and fruit? Amazing, let's play a game. For this game, Cheetah Chinchilla wants everybody to stand up. Go on, stand up. Is everybody standing? Good. Now listen closely. I will say the name of a food. If this food is a vegetable or a fruit, Cheetah Chinchilla wants you to jump up and down on the spot as many times as you can. Can you do that? If this is not a vegetable or a fruit, I want you to be as still as possible, like a statue. Got it? Okay, let's play. The food I am thinking of is a carrot. Jump, jump, jump as many times as you can. This is a vegetable. Jump, jump, jump like a bunny. Okay, stop. The next food I am thinking of is Watermelon! Jump, jump, jump! This is a fruit! Keep jumping! Okay, stop. The next food I'm thinking of is... Hmm... Bread! Stand still like a statue. This is not a vegetable or a fruit. It's a grain! The food I am thinking of is broccoli. Jump, jump, jump. This is a vegetable. Jump, jump, jump. Okay, stop. The last food I am thinking of is strawberries. Jump, jump, jump. This is a fruit. Jump, jump, jump as many times as you can. 
Okay, stop. That was fun. Everybody can now sit down. Vegetables and fruit are very important because they help our bodies feel good and they give us energy to move and play. They can even help us not get sick. This is why we want them to take up the most of our meal. Who has a favorite vegetable or fruit? I would love for you to draw your favorite vegetables and fruit on the biggest part of the healthy plate activity sheet. Be as creative as you would like and make the vegetables and fruits as colorful as possible. Please pause the video now and press play once students are done drawing. The next food group on the plate is protein foods. Meat, fish, eggs, nuts, nut butter, milk, and cheese are all part of this food group. Foods that have protein are important to eat every day because they help to keep our muscles and bones strong. Protein foods are the building blocks of our bodies. They help to build our hair, our skin, muscles, and our bones. Protein foods give our body what it needs to grow big and strong. Now that we know more about protein foods, let's play our game again. She the Chinchilla would like everybody to stand up. Go on, stand up! Is everybody standing? Good! Now listen closely. I will say the name of a food. If this food is a protein food, she the Chinchilla wants you to grrr and show your muscles, like me. If this is not a protein food, I want you to be as still as possible. Like a statue. Got it? Okay, let's play. The food I am thinking of is... Eggs! Flex those muscles! This is a protein food! Grrr! The next food I am thinking of is a banana. Stand still like a statue. This is a fruit, not a protein food. The next food I am thinking of is chicken. Grr! Flex those muscles. This is a protein food. Grr! The next food I am thinking of is, hmm, an apple. Stand still like a statue. This is a fruit, not a protein food. Okay, now the last food I am thinking of is, peanut butter. Grr, show your muscles. This is a protein food. Grr. Okay, stop. Great, now everybody can sit down. Great job with the game, everyone. A few more things about protein foods. Did you know that the food guide recommends choosing protein foods that come from plants more often than those that come from animals? Examples of protein foods that come from plants are beans, lentils, tofu, nuts, and seeds. Now let's go back to your healthy plate activity sheet. I would love for you to draw your favorite protein foods on the top right part of your plate. Please pause the video now and press play when students are done drawing. The last food group on the healthy plate is whole grain foods. These foods are important because they give us lots of energy so you can move, play, and learn all day. Oatmeal, bread, cereal, pasta, rice, and crackers are all examples of whole grain foods. 
Let's play our game one last time. It's now time to stand up one last time. Is everybody standing? Good. Now listen closely. I will say the name of a food. If this food is a whole grain food, she the chinchilla wants you to run on the spot as fast as you can. If this is not a whole grain food, I want you to be as still as possible. Like a statue. Got it? Okay, let's play. The food I am thinking of is toast. Run, 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 run. This is a whole grain food. Run, 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 run. Okay, stop. The next food I am thinking of is tortilla. Run, 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 as fast as you can. This is a whole grain food. Okay, stop. The next one I am thinking of is blueberries. Stand still like a statue. This is not a whole grain food. It's a fruit. Next food I'm thinking of is pasta. Run, 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 as fast as you can. This is a whole grain food. Run, 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 run. Keep running. Okay, stop. Okay, now the last food I'm thinking of is beans. Stand still like a statue. This is a protein food. Amazing! Everyone can now sit down. That was such a fun game! Thank you all so much for playing with me. You all had so much energy. Probably from all the whole grain foods you ate this morning. It's now time to finish our healthy plate. I would love for you to draw your favorite whole grain foods on the bottom right part of your healthy plate activity sheet. Please pause the video now and press play once students are done drawing. Thank you for drawing all your favorite foods on your healthy plate activity sheet. Look at all those delicious choices. The foods that do not fit on your healthy plate can be called sometimes foods. Sometimes foods are foods like chips, cupcakes, ice cream, chocolate, or fried foods. These foods can be yummy to eat, but if you choose them, eat them less often than vegetables and fruit, protein foods, or whole grain foods, and eat them only in small amounts. Sweet drinks like juice are sometimes drinks because they can cause cavities. If you are thirsty, water is the best choice. Healthy eating is more than just the food we eat. It is also about being mindful of our eating habits. That means taking the time to eat and noticing when we are hungry and when we are full. Paying attention to our feelings of hunger and fullness can help us to decide when and how much to eat. Enjoying your food is also part of healthy eating. You can enjoy your food by tasting the different flavors and by getting involved in preparing and cooking food with your family. Eating with friends and family instead of in front of a screen is a great way to connect and enjoy food together. Speaking of having meals together, here come my friends to have lunch with me. Before I go to have my meal, I want you to remember that following the Candace Food Guide by eating plenty of vegetables and fruit, protein foods, and whole grain foods, and by making water your drink of choice, can help your body feel good, grow strong, and have lots of energy to play, move, and learn all day. I had so much fun learning about Candace Food Guide and the Healthy Play with you today, and I hope you did too. Bye friends, until next time!